Oh, Majora's Mask. Just strange and spooky, but cool game. For me, this game is a very unique one, not only comparing it to the other Zelda titles, but in gaming as a whole. I mean, its 3 day cycle is really one of a kind, and the sensation of being in the last days of the world is one that few other games have accomplished. But not only that, also its characters step aside from most games, with their daily scales and each one with its own story to tell, they feel very alive and well crafted, even nowadays. But let's not get off topic. Now, one of the main characteristics that define this game are the masks. Like, come on, there's masks in the title. These serve for many purposes, rather being for the main story and progression in the dungeons, like the main transformation masks, or specific uses during side quests. And even the smear trophies once you have achieved certain goals. In total, there are 24 different masks, and picking up just 5 is really difficult. But hey, this is just for fun and is my mere opinion. So, my picks might end up being completely different from yours. But well, let's begin. To begin our list, I pick up the final treasure hidden in the stone tower, the giant's mask. I feel like this is a spinner for this game, and by that I mean that it is a very cool and unique item, but that it is very underused. But nonetheless, this mask has its own right to be on this list, just because of the pure fun that it is to watch Giant Link on Twin Mode, especially on the 3DS version, where we got the Hulk Smash version of this mask. At number 4, I made a very odd choice, the couple's mask. I know, I know, it literally has zero usage and is merely ornamental, but hey, I just told you that some of these masks are mere trophies, and which better example of this than the couple's mask? I mean, this mask is the proof of all your hard work in one of the most beloved and amazing side quests in video games, period. And I actually find this design pretty darn cool, not to mention that it is required for seeing the true ending of the game. Yeah, I know it's kind of cheating to include one of the main transformation masks in this list, but hey, I just love the Sora mask. This mask allows you to transform into a Sora, enabling you not just to swim faster and breathe underwater, but also to shoot freaking boomerang thingies whenever you want. I found the design for Sora Link pretty amazing, but mainly I love its backstory. Basically the mask, just like the others, holds the spirit of Mikau, the leader guitarist from a Sora band called the Indiegogos, and it is up to you to help his singer, Lulu, retrieve some Sora eggs from a band of pirates, while getting along the way to Hookshot and then heading to the Great Bay Temple to restore peace to the land. Alright, alright, I know this one is pretty obvious and that you might be expecting to show up, but I really find this next one not just one of the best masks, but one of the most useful items in the entire series. And if you haven't guessed, I'm talking about Bonnie Hood. You get this one after helping some guy with his cuckoos, using the Bremen mask that you get from Guru Guru at the laundry pool. Basically what it does is enhancing battling the game experience by boosting your speed considerably. And in a game where the main focus is time, it is very necessary. One cool thing to notice is that you can basically get this one even before the first temple, which I recommend a lot, because it comes really handy. And finally, who doesn't love to own these impressive looking bosses with your bunny hood equipped? The only mask that can compare in power to that of Majora, and the most difficult one to get, comes at number one, and it's a Fuse Deity's mask. I know most of you will agree with me in this one, because this mask is just amazing. Not only does it allow you to transform into a god with a helix sword, but you also get good old Zelda 1 beam powers. Basically, this makes every boss a freaking joke, and by that I mean that you can easily beat Majora in less than a minute with minimum damage to you. I know it would be tons of fun to be able to use it outside of boss battles, but it is a very cool reward for every completion it out there, and a very rare treat for completing stuff regarding the Zelda series. There are many theories out there regarding the origin of this mask, but in a recent interview with Eiji Anuma, director of the series, when asked about which soul lives in this mask, he answered, The best I can give you is just a suggestion. The best way to think about it is that the memories of all the people of Termina are inside the Fuse Deity mask, which kinda makes sense considering that you have to trade all your masks for getting this one. There's actually a very cool glitch that lets you transform into Fuse Deity basically anywhere, and you can perform it quite easily, so if you want to find out how, 
Be sure to check this video out. Alright girls and guys, that wraps up with this video. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to comment which are your top 5 masks. Also, be sure to subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching.